there are a lot of things in my life that I don't understand. Never understood them. I used to function from a position of someday I'll understand them. And it didn't matter whether you were talking about science or philosophy or religion and history. Things just didn't make sense to me. And there are things today that still do not make any sense to me. I have struggled with them for many, many years. Never been able to get my mind around them. We all think that we would do things differently. We all think that we've gotten better as a species, as a human race. We all think that those who did things 100, 200, 500, 2,000 years ago were somehow or another lesser than we are, whether that was intelligent, knowledgeable, woke, whatever you want to put in there. We have this mindset that they were different. We come a long way and we are now better than they were. There are things that I watch that I just cannot get my head around because I feel like I've seen this before. How can this be happening again? I was born in 1963. 1963, there were many Holocaust survivors who talked to them. Within a few years, there were survivors of Soviet aggression, communist aggression. One of the biggest in my youth was we had a man in our church who had survived the communist purge in Czechoslovakia in 1968. He would regularly speak to us about what he went through in Czechoslovakia. But I would meet, on occasion, Holocaust survivors and listen to their stories. And I would watch the news. And on the news, there was always, it seemed like every time you turned around, there was another wanted Nazi being caught, put on trial. And as we got further and further away from the Holocaust, it seemed to get harder and harder for people to remember. And by the time we got to John Domzhujek, Cleveland, I'm butchering his name, I'm sorry. There were those who could stare into his eyes and say, that's him, that's Ivan the Terrible. And there were others that would say, I just don't remember. And before we knew whether he was or he wasn't, passed away. We face a time now where people speak of the past as if it's something to be manipulated, something to be interpreted, something to be critiqued. Not from the vision of, did we learn anything from it, but rather from the idea of, is that really true? Are they just, are they just telling you something because they want you to feel a certain way? It's with that mindset and when I saw the pictures coming out of Ukraine this week, I felt immediately emotions, felt anger, felt incredible anger as I watched what was coming from there, the bodies being dumped into the slit trenches, the mass graves. I felt great anger. I was furious with Russia, Russians, and Vladimir Putin. And it, it's, it's not easy. It's not hard. It's, it is easy. It's not hard to push me to hate the Soviet Union. It, it's, it, it, you know this. But so do the people who want me to be angry. And as I watched the bodies being lowered into the trenches, as I watched them being dug up, as I watched... The soldiers treating each other with non-Geneva Convention treatments. 
it was not hard for me to feel great anger. It was not hard for me to feel great frustration. It was not hard for me to get on social media and say, how can this possibly be happening again? How can we have reached this point where we, as a species, as a human race, are doing this again? Did we not learn anything from the Holocaust? Did we not learn anything in the 1990s from the ethnic cleansing? Did we not learn anything from the 19... World War I, 1917, 1919, the Armenian genocide. Don't send me an email saying that didn't happen. Fuck you, it did. Don't send me things explaining to me why I shouldn't be angry. Well, we, what, you're mad about this, but why aren't you mad about that? I'm mad about all of it because we as a species should be better. And yet we find ourselves once again in the same position of murdering people simply because they're in the way or we don't like them or we want to send a message or whatever. You see how easy it is to fire me up about it. You see how easy it is to get me angry, to get me furious about the fact that once again, we haven't learned anything or have we? That's the real question, isn't it? Have we learned something that maybe we're not really thinking about? I've watched all this unfold on social media and on the news. And I've watched as the Russians at the United Nations explain that that didn't happen. I've watched as people told me there was never any Holocaust or there was no ethnic cleansing or, or the Armenian genocide never happened. I've seen all that. I've watched it all happen. I've seen both sides of it. And until now, I have never had a difficulty whatsoever saying, you're wrong, it did happen. I don't have a problem saying this happened now. I don't have a problem with, with, with admitting that people are being tied up and shot in the back of the head in Ukraine. I'm sure it's happening. Question is, why is it being presented to me the way it's being presented to me? It feels like I should just be furious. It feels like I should be ready to go pull out my firearms get my passport, pay for a plane ticket, fly to Kiev, join the fight. It feels like I should be lobbying my congressman. Congressman, we've got to do something. It feels like that, doesn't it? So why don't I feel that way? There is grave sadness and anger about what's happening in Ukraine about the murder of civilians. I'm angry about the deaths of soldiers on both sides, too. But this murdering of civilians, is, it's inhumane. It's, it's, it's not human. It is, to borrow a Russian phrase, ni kulturni, uncultured. How is this happening again? What is wrong with us? We're better than this as a species, as human beings, as Russians, as Ukrainians. We're better than this. Yet here it is happening again. And I don't understand it. It's infuriating to me because I should understand it. By this point in my life, I should be able to look at this and go, this is happening because blah, 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 blah. It's not a paradox. It's not a conclusion that seems absurd drawn from valid reasoning. Or is it? Maybe it is. Maybe I'm trying to put logic where there isn't any. I don't know. It's the line from, oh, brother, it's a fool that looks for logic in the chambers of a human heart. 
What I know is this. There is a part of me that struggles watching things from the past. There is a part of me that has watched that film on the video right now a million times. I still don't understand it. I don't understand people willing to run to the trench, to kneel down and be shot in the back of the head. I've never understood it. I can't understand it now. I don't understand the men with the guns. I don't understand what the hell was going through their brains when they said, <laughs> we're just following orders. I don't understand the people standing in line, watching what's happening and knowing that, well, we're next. The man smoking the cigarette, watching what's happening, kicking the dirt over the bodies that have just fallen, getting off the truck and running to the trench. I don't get it. I don't understand how in the hell this is possibly happening again. How is it even remotely comprehensible to anyone alive today who has access to more information than we've ever had in our existence to know about this stuff? To say, yeah, we, we better do it again. We better start over. What frustrates me more than not understanding it, what frustrates me more than looking at it going, how are we doing this? Are we not better? Have we learned nothing? What frustrates me more is the feeling deep in the soul that I have that all of this is intended to piss me off. It's intended to make me angry. It's intended to move me because until and unless people like me are willing to go to war over Ukraine... Where are we at? Secretary Blinken was asked this morning about this. He assured the world that the United States of America is working to verify the, quote, defense capabilities of NATO partners, unquote. What does that mean? It means we're getting ready, we're verifying, we're, we're studying, we're making sure that everybody is ready to fight. All it needs, I guess, in a really strange way, is something to draw it all together. And what better thing than that is, is war crimes? What better, what better angering issue is there? Because it has me angry. I have said since 2014 that there is no national security interest whatsoever for the United States and Ukraine. But I also know that the military industrial complex has a way of turning things into national security interests, doesn't it? And while what I watch on the video infuriates me, while I watch what I, while what I watch moves me deeply concerned, it's being done that way on purpose, that it's being shown to me that way intentionally, playing on my emotions. I don't know if I will ever understand why.